Hello, Clinton here with Rustic Millworks. Welcome to the channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and go ahead and hit that bell notification so you know when new content drops. Today I'm working on a thin blue line concealment flag that I'm doing for a retired officer. I'm using pine one by twos for the stripes and a one by 12 rip down to 10 and a half by 14 inches for the union. And the overall dimensions for the flag is 36 and a half inches by 20. Just so you guys know, I am new to woodworking and this is my first cabinet style project. It was a lot of trial and error. <clears throat> so any tips or advice that you guys have for me would be greatly appreciated. So I went ahead and laid my materials out on a nice flat surface and give them a good sanding. I was going for the rustic look, so I did a consistent burn on the stripes in the Union. And I used, I believe it was Verathane Classic Black and Antique White for the Stars and Stripes. And then to get the blue for the thin blue line, I mixed a little bit of Antique White with Navy Blue. Just kind of wanted to make the color just a little bit brighter the the navy blue by itself it came seemed a little bit too dark so i went ahead and lightened it up a little bit with some of that antique white mixed it together and i got all the stains that i used on this project from home depot To hold the stripes and then union together on the flag, I used a little bit of Titemon 3 glue um, and then I used 1x2s and then a 1x4 uh, where the union meets the stripes and held everything together with 18 gauge uh, inch and a quarter brad nails. For the back of the flag, I did a couple coats of flat black uh, Rust-Oleum spray paint.
For the cabinet, I used 1x6s and 3 8 plywood. To hold everything together, I used Titebond 3 and 18 gauge inch and a quarter brad nails. I went ahead and gave the cabinet part of the flag a uh, nice sanding, um, made it nice and smooth, kind of rounded the corners out a little bit uh, just to give it that soft edge. I used the same Rust-Oleum flat black spray paint on the cabinet part of the flag and then I went ahead and masked everything off and went with the flat gray on the inside of the cabinet and I used a Rust-Oleum semi-gloss clear coat. I did about three coats of that just to seal everything up. And then the hinge I got from Home Depot, it was a 30 inch, uh, just a long single hinge. I got the RFID lock, the brass rifle mounts, and the gas shocks all from Amazon. I'll throw links up in the description. Hey, thank you guys for watching, and like I said, if you have any advice, just go ahead and leave a comment.